What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Day two, Vlogmas. Special treat, Simon Lazat is here with me in my own backyard. Surprise. So I had to use this opportunity to get as much out of him as possible in his brain for some of the great things that I feel like he does. And one of those things is his spin putt from outside of the circle. Now this is something that I wanted to kind of dive deep into how that works with his pressure and as far as his fingers and just what he's aiming at, different things like that to see if it could help me be a better circle two putter because that's something that I'm lacking. Um, one of the most things that I'm lacking in my game, especially on tour, being a short thrower, I'm ending up in circle two a lot more often than I am in circle one. So if I could make a few more of those, obviously that would be huge for my overall game. So how do you do it? And then best case scenario, I can incorporate something out of that into my own form and hopefully make that work. Do me a favor, putt one and then tell me where the pressure is in your fingers. Yeah. The pressure. Cash. So where's your pressure in your fingers? I mean, it felt like mostly thumb and this finger. Okay. Because they're like almost connecting in the disc. So I feel like they're pushing a bit together to get the spin out. One thing I've noticed, which I also find weird when I'm putting and I see a photo of me, I don't feel that this is happening, but obviously it is because it's in photos, that after I release, my hand is here. Okay. Like this. Yeah. So I putt. It feels like I'm just doing this, but in reality, I'm doing this. One thing that I love about your putt is it's the same from 20 feet as it is from 40 feet, and it's damn near the same from 40 feet as it is from 80 feet. I can putt very far, yeah. It's always yes. been a thing I could do. How do you go from 20 to 40 to 80 with the same stroke? Because obviously you're speeding it up. Yeah, I think I'm just going a bit harder, but faster. I think I'm widening my stance slightly to get a bit more power that's, from the legs. Okay. Put one to the far one. And then tell well, that's me. That's not far though. It's like. No, for me, that's very far. That's what I'm Jimmy. Is that on camera? Yes. This, this is all on camera. What's the difference between the 20 footer and that one? Aiming or is it just natural? You just make it. I'm putting in a bit more effort. Okay, let's dive into the mind. Yes. Are you visualizing your putt before you do it? I feel like the older I get, the more I'm thinking. Yeah. I remember back in the day. I think you're a better putter now than you were. I think. Yeah. I definitely try to visualize the line and actually intentionally release my putter where I'm trying to. And kind of, I mean, the further you are, the, you kind of change up your lines a bit. Yeah. Like I, I sometimes like to go high right and have a dive into yeah. the mask instead of going straight at it. So inside 40 feet, I'm a straight at a guy. Yeah. Outside that, I'm starting probably to aim a bit top right yep. and have the disc fall in just so I don't leave myself the classic European 30 foot comebacker. So here's what we're gonna do. We kind of got a good idea of what he's doing. He's feel, just like you told me before. I'm feel, I don't really want to think about it. I look, I fire, and that's honestly what the best golfer should do. You shouldn't be thinking, you shouldn't be form oriented once it's game time, you should just Look at the basket, there it is, go. What I want from you in this is I'm going to putt a couple putts, okay? Yeah. And then I want you to see if I'm doing something different from, because I'm a great putter in the circle. But then when I'm trying to get like, this is easy for you to that one, it takes a lot of effort for me to get it to that basket that's on the high rise, right? A lot of effort. Yeah. And I'm just not that good at it. So if you can find something in my form that you can go aha no don't do it looks like you're doing this it looks like you're doing that that would be great let's try okay first i want to see if i can make twice as luck okay twice as luck i don't know if the camera can see that but well i'm gonna go first to the short okay. and then i'm gonna go deep and you're gonna tell me the difference okay, okay. all right so shorty i'll do another shorty okay And you see, Easy. like we have a similar grip, pretty similar. Cause I tuck the pinky. Yeah. 
I think you're the only other person that tucks the pinky. <laughs> Maybe, I okay, don't know. So now I'll go there. Yeah. Glad they didn't get to see that flight. <laughs> that was miserable. <laughs> All right, off the track. I think um, you were definitely reaching back a bit further. Well, yeah. yeah a little yeah. bit. I mean, you kind of have to. I saw some little hesitation on the long putts. Like, so you were like pulling back and then pausing for like a second and then shooting. Okay, that the could shorter, be better. The I don't shorter, feel that. The shorter one was a bit more, you just like pull back, go. Pull back, go. And the longer one where you were like, pause, go. That could be really bad. That could be something. Let's try I don't it. like pausing and putts. I don't either. What a putt though. My other one's right there, right off the top. Let's go. Again, we're gonna go a little twenty footer, and then we'll go to the to the other one. Okay? okay. And I want you to watch again to see see what's going on. Oh, see if I could just get that there. Yeah. That, I mean, I think anyone would say that there. Oh gosh. See, that's another thing. It, well, it hooked onto here. Yeah, I yank sometimes quite I hate that. Does it hook on air? I don't know where it hooks. I just feel like it's a late release. Okay. That's a mental thing. Ooh, that one looks good. I think putting, I think the mental is way more key than the physical in putting. Okay. Don't you think? That's where we differ from opinions because I have always gotten better from focusing on key little physical things, like my putting, for example. I used to be kind of a feel putter like you, but I would miss a bunch. And then once I cued in on some pressure points in my hand, I was Gosh. able to switch and just be, you know, 30% better in the circle with just a pressure switch. So I think bad form can- I can't at all relate to that yes. strategy at all, zero. So that's why we're different and different opinions is great. And it's good to, I saw. knock ideas back and forth because I think that I should now that I do have something that I'm comfortable with from 25 maybe it is a little mental you know what I mean and maybe I should relax a bit more and at that point it's feel if you look at your putt from 10 years ago versus your putt now world different right yeah. you're totally different yeah everything's different if you look at my putt from 15 years ago and today I think it's almost exact same i change little things yeah. most of the things i change when i make do putting is mental things like mm -hmm. what i'm thinking about or like about a couple of years ago i added a second putter in my hand when i'm putting that's a i mean technically it's a physical thing but it helps the mental yeah this is the first time ever showing this on camera okay this is a real thing that would happen to me if i tried to putt this far simon okay You the shank like that? It's not a shank because it happens every time. It hooks onto my middle finger and then it shoots to the right. Oh my God. And I'm so glad I don't do that's that. what I mean by then, same pressure, I could, I could put it here fine, but I was yeah. able to clear that middle finger out of the way. Mm. So the pressure was being middle finger right there. And because of the grip I was using, it would hook onto there from time to time. Sometimes I'd be fine. Yeah. But you can't be in a tournament have a putt this far and be like, okay, it could go sideways or I might make it. No, that's, like that's, that sounds like a nightmare. And that's why I developed this putt that I did for years. Yeah. I've never so really now, realized how much someone can struggle with this. Yes, this is good. This is okay. great. I mean- Okay, so now switch back I've to the pressure. I've never had these thoughts ever. So when I switch to this pressure and I get the middle finger kind of out of the equation, then I can kind of get it there but I'm still struggling with consistent speed. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that- That was a dart. Is a better putt. That's a good, great putt. So if I'm this far away, I do two things. It kind of depends on the day for me, how I approach this putt. In general, I just have a bit of a wider stance than a short putt, but I think everything else is the same. I mean, yeah. I have a little more effort. A little wider of a stance. That's Miss Gracie. Miss Gracie hanging out. She's a frisbee dog. Wonderful dog. puppy. Okay, here we so go. Some days I'll do this. Oh, 
It's ridiculous. You yes. Just make it. Yeah. Like and then? Little, almost like a little Anheuser release mm -hmm. and have it like float back. And some days I'll do this. And then some days you'll do what? This. Little air bounce. <laughs> that would have been so cool if that would have been. <laughs> This is ridiculous. I'm trying to get inside this guy's mind and he's blocking me out. No, man. you're not. It's not a mind thing what you're trying to get. You're trying to get the physical. Yes. Like how? To do it. How are you doing that? You need to make 60 to 80 footers feel short. Yes. So instead of practicing those putts and feeling like, oh, this is my max distance putt, go to freaking 90, 100 feet and try to make those putts. And then when you get when you're at 70 feet, it'll feel like, oh, I can do this easy. It's actually a really great tip, honestly. That's actually pretty. Could have come from you. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I think that that might be the key. Just freaking send 100 feet from that basket. You're freaking cut your arm out. Yeah. Get those discs to the basket. Yeah. Make none of them probably. Power but then when that you're at 60 need. feet, it's just like, oh, there it is. Is that something you did growing up? Would you practice long putts? Well, the, the blessing I've had in my life that I never practiced in my life to get better at disc golf. I just always practiced and did it because that's what I love to do. I would putt for hours in my yard, not to get better, just because, man, I want to go putt for hours. Yeah. And I think that's the luckiest thing that I've had my personality turned out to be is that I just want to do it and I don't felt like I I need to get better at anything I just like I just want to go do it yeah so in closing statements what would you tell the people listening who have the same problem I do besides the tip you just gave me because yeah, I mean there's practice routines and you know there's the famous word muscle memory yeah muscles are stupid yeah they don't remember stuff easily. Yeah. You got to freaking do it so much. Yeah. That your muscles remember to do what to do and not your brain has to remember for the muscles. Yeah. Makes sense. Yep. So it's just like you let your body take over. That's the ultimate goal. And especially on the putting green, man, thoughts are such killers. Killers. Yeah. yeah. You got to freaking just have no thoughts. And if you have thoughts, then it's just got to be. Like, how can you make your brain more confident that you're going to make a play? All right, Simon. Thank you. We made it through. We the did lesson it. I thought I could never teach. You did it. I mean, it takes... Sometimes... Here's the thing with people. There's information in there. You just got to dig it out sometimes. And I'm annoying enough to try to get in there because I am absolutely fascinated with form with putting, with minds such as yourself because it is so opposite from mine. And if I can't understand even a little bit of where you're coming from, then I'm leaving something on the table that I don't think of. You know what I mean? And all of that will get you better. Even the fact that you said, oh, I, I can't believe you, you even had to go through that. I've never thought of that in my, in my life. Maybe now you can look at some putters differently because it's tough, man. Some, sometimes it just is a tough thing to do, honestly. Yeah, you got to train your body to know what to do. Yeah. Like, you know that feeling when you you want to run something, but you know you shouldn't? Yes. <laughs> and then you try to run it like you're actually trying, but yeah. then your body's just like, no. no. <laughs> yes. And that's with my putts, too. Like, I showed you the two putts that I try yeah. some different days. Sometimes I line up that straight putt, the little more floaty yeah. one. And... That's what I'm trying to do, but then my body goes to putt and I do the freaking hyzer putt. Yeah. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> I was you, trying to go straight. Do you sometimes and my make body them? made me do that. Oh, dude, my putting sometimes I just let it go and I'm like, wow, I can't believe that one. <laughs> That's the best feeling. That's what we're all trying to get to. Here's some fun putts, guys. I use a hundred foot putt for you guys. What the? That was a good bit. Okay. One foot long. Oh, wow, that's like full snap. I don't... How do you get it to go that far? 
Lots of wrist. Lots of wrist. Hey. Lots of legs, lots of wrist. This is gonna be hilarious. <laughs> you can do it. Actually, that was pretty good. Yeah. That wasn't bad. I was afraid of throwing it into the street over there, but that's out of my life for right now. I like that. I mean, that's going far. Honestly, I think if you did this, like, 30 times in a row every day you would get so good at it i think you're right honestly yeah, I, I think, think that's the ticket i think it is All right, guys, well, that's going to do it. I'll be posting updates on this because, believe me, I'm going to be grinding. I've never thought about putting from 150 feet because I felt like my body wouldn't be able to do it. But even right there, I mean, that's, what, 90 feet? They're yeah, going close to 100, I think. They're traveling 100 feet. There's potential there. Now I just got to practice. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and we're going to see you guys down the fairway. Down the fairway. Nice.